Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday, so you know what that means inside of Team of the Season. Guaranteed Team of the Season pack for the main league, and that is going to be the La Liga Guaranteed Tots pack today. The, the uh, pack is already in the code. It was added when they added the Icon Swab pack, so we know that it is most likely coming today. And this is going to be a day where the market moves a lot and it's going to be another day where we might see more insane content because this La Liga team in the season promo continues to just go above and beyond anything we have seen this year or we have expected to be completely honest with you. I'm having the vibes right now that I had last year during summer heat when they were just dropping player after SBC after player SBC and it was good value after good value. There's stuff in packs that you could craft, upgrade packs. Icon SBCs, everything, man. It's all going right right now in this game in terms of the SBC content. We had two more SBCs yesterday on Tuesday. A 96 rated PK flashback coming in at 312,000 coins and craftable. I know it is not pacey. I know it is not meta, but this is a card, uh, you know, it's more of like a, a feel good card or uh, reminds you of the Scream PK from back in, what was that, FIFA 19 or, or FIFA 20 early on? Um, and so I think this card is kind of another fun one, right? A lot of Barcelona SBCs too. And I want to talk about today how the Guaranteed Tots SBC and all this content is going to affect the market going forward into today. Because I think today what you're also going to see is people that are trying to invest and make coins on this game are going to start to buy some cards. And also, people are going to look to want to buy these Team of the Season items from the La Liga because of course if they don't pack them today then they're going to know that these cards are probably going to be heading up into the weekend at, as it has happened with the Premier League and with the community since. So again just to confirm and show you guys that this pack is in the code it is right here contains one Team of the Season player from the La Liga Tot Squad. Now what is this squad going to cost today? Last year the guaranteed La Liga SBC required an 87 rated squad and one Team of the Season with 50 chemistry. This year and especially how this week is going i think it might be an 86 rated squad and i wouldn't put i wouldn't put it past ea sports to maybe even make it an 85 the content this week has been such good value maybe they're going to continue the trend uh and make it an 85 rated sbc requiring one tots maybe two if they made it an 85 squad they might require two tots they've given out a lot of team of the seasons recently uh and i think we had our first sbc earlier this week too that required two team of the seasons if i'm remembering correctly but that's kind of the range you can expect it to be going today. Now, fodder, of course, is sky high. This is like the third day. Look at this daily graph, man. Look at this graph. The down into team of the season on Friday, May 7th, the start of La Liga team of the season, and then the absolute immense number of SBCs that we have had. And we're seeing prices on these cards that are kind of back to the levels that we knew them uh, during the month of like March when this stuff was super high because of all the icon SBCs. 86s have gone from 12,000 coins and doubled to 25k plus. And if you think about today with this SBC coming out, people have been asking me, should I buy 85s, 86s, 87s? I do think that we could see another bit of a, a bounce up like this again today because there's two kind of things that are going on in this game right now. With all of the SBC content that we have had, People don't have stuff in their club, right? People are broke. A lot of people are saying to me, yo, I've got my team, my players and my team. And then there's like a huge drop off to the silvers because no, no people have like just normal rare golds and commons because they're doing upgrade packs. So a lot of clubs are pretty bare after all of these SBCs have been put out, all of the 85 times five packs. But also what you have is people that have done those 85 times five packs or that are crafting upgrades, they have some fodder in the club. And since we had an 85 times five yesterday, the other side of the coin is people went out and bought a squad of 11 players to do the 85 times five. They might have half of a squad in their club right now to do an SBC like a guaranteed tots today. Now I will say that still a lot of people are going to have to go buy SBC fodder cards today to do the tots SBC. Not everybody, but I still think more of the casual user base who maybe did Coutinho, who maybe did, um, you know, some of the other SBCs that have come out in the past few days are probably low on the fodder in general. Maybe they have a couple players in the club, but they're probably low. So they're going to have to go out and buy stuff today. But also people who have invested in fodder, kind of like what you saw last week during Premier League team this season. Now, I don't know if there's a ton of people that have invested to be completely honest with you, but people know that rewards is coming. People know that the weekend is coming with Bundesliga Tots. So you might see a spike today at 6 p.m. Then, then you might see fodder dropping off into the evening before rewards because people will know that pack supply is coming. And then, you know, 
know, the fodder has been cheapest on the weekends. So that is one thing that I would 100% expect today, a bit of a spike and then maybe downwards after that. Um, but I don't, you know, I really wouldn't sit here and tell you to, if you're going to do the La Liga guaranteed tots SBC today and you don't have enough fodder in your club, sure, go out, buy a couple 85s, maybe buy like an 88 if you need to and just put it in your club to get ready to do that or, you know, craft SBCs and, and do some some player picks if you or premium upgrades if you want to get some fodder that way and have a chance at packing a blue. Um, but I, I really wouldn't sit here and say, yeah, go ham, invest. I don't think that's a really smart thing to say right now with where we're at heading into the weekend with more lightning rounds and more supply coming out and a lot of these SBCs expiring that's one point I want to make too look at all these men two days two days a lot of this stuff expires on Friday literally this um this under card which I think is a pretty cool idea from EA releasing a U23 player um Coutinho's out for four days I think Mar um Marcelo might be out for a couple days more ah he's just two days as well but a lot of these SBCs are expiring on Friday so or at least into the weekend. So I don't think that's really going to have a lot of demand for that SBC fodder. And unless Bundesliga Tots is really like this, which I don't know if we can expect this kind of content two weeks in a row, that fodder is definitely going to drop off heading into the weekend. So that's kind of my thoughts on the SBC fodder situation. Now let's talk about the actual team of the season cards themselves again, and the out-of-packs market as well, because what Wednesday is for a lot of people is Wednesday is buy day, right? Wednesday is, okay, I did the guaranteed Tots pack. I didn't pack Varan like I wanted to, but you know what? I got coins for him. I want him in my team, so I'm going to go buy him. Right now, Varan is 2.6 million coins. I just searched at 2.8 mil. This card is so rare, it's ridiculous. This guy, four people after the guaranteed SBC decide they want to go buy Varan for their team. Boom, this guy's instantly at 2.9 million coins like that because these four cards go away. Now, I know it's probably more in the peak of the daytime, but for some of these rare, high-level, high-tier, meta and highly desirable, desirable, desirable uh, Tots cards from La Liga, Messi, Suarez, Benzema, De Jong especially, uh, Varane especially. I would even throw Jordi Alba and maybe even Lucas Vasquez in this equation because Jordi Alba has been fluctuating a lot this week based off of rarity, links to Coutinho and PK. So these kind of cards today, when the guaranteed comes out, you're probably going to see them rising up after 6 p.m. in my opinion, unless we get some other crazy content today. Who knows? That could be possible too. Um, but I would ex honestly expect a rise in these cards, kind of like we saw last week with the Prem, uh, and then hanging around there in rewards, and then maybe even going up after that into the evening, Thursday night into Friday morning for a lot of these Tots cards. Now, I think Messi, Benzema, De Jong, and Alba would be the three cards that I would expect to go up the most. I think these cards have the most hype. De Jong, especially. This card right here is pretty rare on this game. And some of these cards might have hit their lowest today, right? Some of these out-of-pack specials might have hit their lowest today, too, on Tuesday. Um, 1.42 for De Jong. He's right now 1.609, so he's up a little bit. I still think you'll see a little bit of selling this morning into Wednesday because people are now kind of catching on to the trend. They know that the guaranteed Tots pack is going to be today. So if you see any panic selling on, on the high-tier meta cards out of the La Liga Tots, I'd give you the green light to go ahead and buy some of those uh, because, again, there's so many SBC cards. People's teams are probably being transformed right now from Premier League links to La Liga links with the Coutinho, with the PK, with all those other SBCs that have come out this week. Undoubtedly, a lot of people have participated. And with all the upgrade packs as well, a lot of these SBCs, you're almost guaranteed to get a tots from. So I think you're really going to see a lot of those links do well this week. For the rest of the market... You know, some of these Premier League team of the season cards, there's going to be a large group of people as well that are going to see the price drops on these and say, hey, these cards are pretty cool. They're still brand new. I want to try it out in the weekend league. Hyun Min Sun was 1.62 million coins earlier today before the content drop. He is back up 100,000 coins. I think this is honestly just because of rarity. And he got panic sold down way too much right here. This is just too much panic. I don't know if he goes back down in the 1.6 low range on the PS4, or if he goes down into the low 1.4s again, he like he did on the Xbox. But I would honestly say that if you see any panic on these cards today, this is going to be the time to get them. Because again, more coins are going to come on the market with rewards. And after today on Wednesday, when the content is dropped, people participate in the content, they do the upgrade pack, SBC, and then boom, 
the eyes kind of shift towards the weekend league because you got rewards coming up. And that is something that hasn't been happening the first three days of this week, right? It's all been about the new SBCs, icon swaps. But when we get later in the week like this, everybody starts thinking about weekend league, the, the market rising with rewards. So you're going to see more buying today. So if you see panic selling again, like Mason Mount's up 10,000 coins. He was down to 210 and below. Luke Shaw was 200K flat. Uh, De Bruyne was 950. I think Rashford was 3.1. Um, Cancelo was like, 400k flat. So especially some of these brand new TOTS cards, even the community TOTS too. I bought a Barnes today at 568, just sold them at 620. Um, Mukiele was like 280. Juan Bissaka was 720. Um, you know, so some of these cards that are still pretty new and pretty hyped uh, are in rare as well. Uh, you might see a decent rise on those and the rest of your out of packs market too. Um, the thing that I want to mention about this is yes, people are going to be buying this stuff up and saying, man, look how much these prices have dropped. They're going to go back up flying this weekend. You know, a guy like this Adama, right? I don't think you're going to see cards like this uh, hit their prices that they were last weekend. 900K, 935 for this Adama last weekend. There's almost no shot in my opinion. Although this card is even super rare. It's got Spanish links. I really don't feel like this Adama goes back up to 935K this week. I don't think you can expect those rises back to this kind of peak, you know, just because there are not as many coins on this game anymore because people did all the SBCs this week. So I think you will see a nice market rise because people are right now not even focused on buying teams. Um, and they're going to be starting to focus into that, you know, Wednesday and Thursday um, for sure with rewards and stuff. But, you know, I just don't expect... I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you're going to see cards like that have the most insane, insane rise. So one thing I want to talk about again is just your La Liga links, right? Like this Ansu Fati card and some of your other out-of-pack specials from La Liga, whether it's foot birthday cards, future stars, in forums, uh, everything. There's so much hype with La Liga. It's really going to be interesting to me to see how these cards do this weekend. I mean, this Ansu Fati every day bounces between like 1.2 and 1.3. But is he really going to go to like 1.4 this weekend? Is he really going to go up that much? This kind of card, he might, right? Because he's super duper rare. I've got my eyes on him. But some other cards maybe like, I don't know, um, you know, some of the other La Liga special cards that people have been investing in. One that I'm reminded of right now is the Usman Dembele right wing inform card, who is still 323,000 coins. We even had a Joaquin SBC release, same position, five star skills, uh, and this guy continues to maintain his price. So a lot of these La Liga cards have maintained their price through this crash because I think purely people are not selling them and they're investing in them. And I'm really interested to see some of these cards might fly. Some of these, they might be overinvested in. So that's, I feel like it's going to be a fine line with some of these La Liga specials might go up a lot. Some of them might not go up so much. This Usman, I kind of feel good about him, to be honest, apart from the fact that I just used him as an example that his price didn't drop. Besides Joaquin, there aren't that many right wings in La Liga. He's got the French links as well. So I understand why this card, and this was a very, very rare team of the week. I more so understand why this card is not dropped. Um, but again, using the whole market as an example, some of these cards uh, that haven't dropped are going to probably end up being a little bit overinvested in. It just depends on the card, depends on how hyped they are. Like, you know, maybe this Morales card as a striker, he hasn't really dropped that much. But we have, um, you know, of course, a couple different strikers that have been released um, in the team. Like this Regulon is an interesting one to me, though. Spanish links, Premier League. So kind of a mixture between people who have cards from last week and cards from this week. So I think the La Liga specials to me are, are a bit of an unknown. It's going to be on a per card basis that I'm going to be, you know, kind of watching those like this Gomez card, right? People did Coutinho this week. You know, people have got the Fakir card from Tots uh, in here now. Are they really going to go out and are they going to use this Gomez card or are they going to go and use one of the new Tots cards or one of the new SBC players that we've gotten? Yuri Berchice is one, you know, as a fullback at center back that I think people are going to end up using. Um, and then, you know, your Bundesliga specials as well. This Mbabu card, people have been buying him up. Um, that's Sancho. What if people have been buying those cards up too? I think your Bundesliga special cards are a watch. Um, but honestly, what I'm going to be looking at today is just super rare out of pack specials. Like even this young man's son is a card that I'm going to have my eyes on today. This Teo Hernandez is a French left back. I might be looking at him a little bit. Well, French links should do pretty well this week with a lot of French cards like Kunde being in. We've had some French cards in the past couple weeks with, you know, Fofana and Kunde and Digne being an SBC. Um, and I'm also going to watch icons because I think that some of the out of packs icons, not necessarily just English icons, because some people are talking about, you know, either English links or Spanish links. Um, 
you know, I, I don't really think I'm going to focus on just these, but I think icons in general, some of the moments even, but mostly some of the babies and some of the midfielders, I think, um, might be good plays this week. I think they could have good moves on the market. And I think with, you know, people trying to link together cards that they got from the Premier League team of the season and uh, from the La Liga team of the season, I think that you might have some people going for icons to try to link some of these together, which by the way, I have a butcher right now on my transfer list, I believe. Um, and wait, what did that say? Players in demand? Yo, there was just there was just a thing here on the transfer market list. It said players in demand. What in the world does that mean? I have never seen that before. I need that. I need that to pop back up. EA Sports. Can I see that message pop back up again? What in the world was that, bro? I have never seen that message before pop up right there. Maybe I'm seeing things. I don't know. Anyways, it was in that little info screen right by the transfer market. All right, I'll play with it and see if I can get to pop back up. But oh, there it is. Players in demand. Check out SBCs and live foot friendlies to see what type of players will be in demand by the community. What? What? Is EA Sports trying to help us out with our economy monitoring by talking about supply and demand? Hey, that's a foot economist message right there on the leaderboard if I've ever seen one, man. <laughs> anyways, anyways, back to what I was saying, and I'll finish this video off here in a second, but... Um, I have got some L's on my trans list right now. I really am losing some coins because I bought cards earlier this week. I bought these Bergwines for like right around 300,000 coins. I bought the same maximum at 260. And what I'm doing today is it's a mental thing for me, right? I'm going to be selling some of this stuff, even though I'm going to be losing coins on it. I'm going to be selling some of this stuff to regroup for today, redo some of my investments and just kind of, you know, sometimes you just need to reset. And that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm going to be taking like the two, 300 K loss today. Now I made some, I'm going to make some money on this Mateus. I bought this at 800 and I bought this at 568. So I'm going to be making some money on some of this stuff. Um, but a lot of these cards right here and the stuff that I don't have listed right now is going to be an L for me. So, um, you know, I'm going to take my losses and I'm going to regroup, right? It's been a, a week of crazy content. And I think that the market's going to come, you know, bouncing back a decent amount because just people have not been focused on their team. So I'm going to be focused on that rewards rise from Thursday. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to try to not spend too much more in upgrade packs because I've already spent, I think, somewhere around like 700, 600 to 700,000 coins. And a little update on that as well. I have packed Kunde. Jordi Alba, Carrasco, Moreno, Lucas Vasquez, and Oblak twice. I think I've I've actually got Kunde twice too, but I got a player pick with Kunde and Courtois, so I chose Courtois. That's why you see the counter up to 23. Um, I got Alba today from a player pick, so you know I'm I'm honestly even tempted to try to get that PK done and get the Coutinho done and have kind of a little Barcelona triangle down at the back, even though it's not meta. It just sounds like to me to be kind of fun. So we will see what happens with the squad, but I'm going to be heading into rivals, not rivals. Um, friendlies and doing icon swaps pretty soon with that but that's just kind of how i'm feeling about the market right now i do think we will have a nice rise because again people are going to get coins from rewards and that focus is going to shift from you know doing the icon swaps doing the sbcs doing the upgrade packs shifting over to the weekend league with bundesliga team of the season and rewards on the line people needing to buy their teams and that sort of stuff again so that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market today. Hopefully that SBC for the La Liga Tots guaranteed is somewhere around like the 85 to 86 rated range. Not super duper expensive. And uh, hopefully you guys don't pack Gerard Moreno, Oblak, Kunde, or Navas today. Because I think a lot of people are going to pack those guys. So I hope we get somebody else. But if you enjoyed this video, put a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Photo Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.